Hi everyone, today we will be doing a classic difference between Power BI, Tableau, and Data Studio. So let's talk about pricing. For Power BI, it will cost you around eight and a half euros per month per user. And if you're going for a premium plan, it will cost you around 17 euros per person. Or, however, there are also some free versions available for Power BI which you can download from the Microsoft Store. Unfortunately, the Mac users cannot download this free version and they have to use one of these versions. Tableau is one of the most priciest to on this category and it is around 70 US dollars per month per user, which is very Then we have Tableau for teams and companies. For teams and company, they have categorized Tableau software into three categories. The first main category is Tableau Creator, which is for $70 per user per month. This is the this is again the most expensive category among all these three. In Tableau Creator, the person will get Tableau Desktop, Tableau Prep Builder, and a Tableau Online license. For Tableau Explorer, which is for $42. The person will get only explorer license and lastly tableau viewer which is only to view the dashboard and visualization which is created by others includes only tableau online viewer license the last tool which we are covering today is google's data studio the data studio is free for everyone Next, we want to know which enterprise owns which tool. So Microsoft own Power BI and Salesforce own Tableau. Google owns Data Studio. This means if you are targeting any specific company or maybe a specific work in which these enterprises are master or ahead of their competitors, then you might want to use their tools, which will give you an edge in interviews, in competition, or otherwise. Now let's talk about which tool is more popular. Using Google Trends, I can totally see that Microsoft Power BI has overtaken Tableau after 2019 and this is my assumption but we can also think in such a way that power bi is downloaded more than tableau now let's also talk about system requirements for microsoft power bi the system requirements is very low however it is very important to know that Power BI runs only on Windows operating system and not on Mac or Linux. If you are a Mac or Linux user, you might want to use a Power BI server, which is not free. Technical specification for Tableau is higher than Power BI. But in 21st century, I guess everybody has a better system than what is mentioned here. The good part is Tableau is available on Windows as well as on Mac officially. Lastly, for Google Data Studio, we don't need any operating system specification because we can connect it with any good internet browser which can be google chrome mozilla firefox or any other now let's go for a demo i'm just gonna connect some of the text file which i have downloaded from online these files are on coronavirus vaccination let us analyze these files using all the three tools which we have covered in this video. I'm going to start with Tableau.
But before I analyze, I would also like to sh show you how many database data sources are there in Tableau. So we have file type of data source, which is like Excel, text file, .csv, JSON files, Microsoft Access files, PDF files, and other formats as well. Then we have server level data sources, which includes a lot many databases, including Amazon Redshift, uh, Azure SQL Data Warehouse, uh, Google Analytics, Google BigQuery, MariaDB, uh, Microsoft SQL Server, MongoDB, Oracle databases, OSGRE SQL databases, SAP HANA databases, Snowflake, Spunk, and even other ODBC databases. Finally, I would like to show you how simple and easy it is just to create dashboards in Tableau. So I've got another data set and I do not know about all the definition of these data points or data columns we have here. I understand this is age, sex, one could be male, zero could be female. CP, I think this is just pain, uh, thrust, PPS, uh, something with the heartbeat. Um, cholesterol is cholesterol, rest of them I do not know. I will show you something about Tableau, how we can analyze in Tableau. Um, let's check cholesterol with the age group. So certainly there is no clear cut. Um, slope here yeah a little like this I would say so I have to just put trend line yeah a little linear trend line here um, chest pain with the color
right? Can you target as someone who got a heart attack or who has a heart disease? One should be yes, zero should be no. Let's try target shapes. Do you guys really see any pattern? Because I cannot see any pattern here. Okay. Let's go see the shape and target with color because dark color actually pops out a lot yeah so clearly people with age 50 and above are more red um, Then, then, and of course, crystal level is not making any kind of trend here. Uh, even the chest pain is not making any trend yet. How about male and female? So, Square one or more in the works for sure. So that's what the demo for Tableau. Now I'm gonna show you other tools as well. This is Power BI. In Power BI, we have a lot of data sources. Let's check them out. And we have the Excel file, we have the text file, we have the JSON formats, then we have SQL Server databases, we have Oracle databases, we have MySQL databases, we have PostgreSQL SQL databases, Teradata, SAP HANA databases, Amazon Redshift, Google BigQuery, Snowflake, Azure SQL databases, a lot of other Azure databases like Cosmo DB, Azure Table Storage. Um, yeah, uh, Hadoop databases, SharePoints, Salesforce reports, Google Analytics, Adobe Analytics. Adobe Analytics was not there on Tableau. Probably there would be some third party tools which will aggregate this data into the Tableau. Um, then we have O Data Feed, which is kind of an API. We have Hive, we have Python scripts, R scripts, and we have CRMs, we have Google Sheets, we have Maria Database, we have SurveyMonkey, A lot many for sure more than Tableau so I will just connect and corona vaccination databases
Now, I actually like Power BI interface a lot. Um, Power BI actually has this um, follow query editor or data transformation window, which is pretty cool where you can clean the data, you can transform the data, you can add columns. A lot many cool features are there. Secondly, there is this relationship window where I can add multiple uh, tables and join them, create relationships between them. Okay, I have not applied changes here. That is why the data is not loading. Apply changes. Now again, here we can see our data like we are viewing it on Excel sheet. We can see our table like we view in SSIS, Microsoft SSIS kind of an ETL tool. We can build relationship, even this window is available in SQL, Microsoft servers. Now I will get other data as well. Country vaccination by manufacturer. This time I will not transform the data. And the data will automatically be loaded. Now let's make our dashboards. I really like this theme tool in Power BI. Um, all the, the all these themes are very attractive. So I will make similar charts which I made in Tableau so that it's very easy for every one of us to differentiate between these tools.
So by default, there is no text field in in adding data to your visual version. Um, however, as far, as far as I remember in this map, we do have a categorical data which we can show, but this is not the data which probably any one of us would like to see. Still, I like this feature of Power BI that by default we get a dashboard view as compared to Tableau which gave us a page view. Let's build another visualization using date and daily vaccination. Perfect. Let's do another one. Currently, this visualization will not filter these two visualizations because we have not defined any common relationship or common column name or a key between the tables. So this is Power BI. I will also add the other data to show the scatter plot. Mm. This time also I will load the data without going through transforming the data. Now we have the hard data. Let's take age and go to straw. Build a scatter plot.
reminds me of Python and R, the statical languages, ggplot, matplotlib also have similar scatterplot, and let's add the gender into the legend and target we do not have shape so we'll add that into target these all are formatting settings in power bi make it minus 30 change the color green here we have our scatter plot Uh, the same uh, format settings are also available in Tableau, although we didn't go through them. Uh, by default, this is the scatter plot which is made in both the tools. Now let's get started with Data Studio. To start, I have to click on blank report. Once, once the report has been loaded, we will get to see some of the data sources which we can connect. As usual, we have all the Google databases, some of the Microsoft SQL, Amazon Redshift, PostGRE SQL, Post SQL database, Search Console, YouTube analysis, and approximately 500 other partner connectors which include Facebook connector, 200 plus, 250 marketing sources, 500 marketing data sources, 99% of third party data connectors, partner connectors are not free and we have to pay a subscription fee by month or annually to get full access of these tools right so i found a google connector which is file upload let's try this file upload if it works drag the files One more. Right.
Wait, I want to add one more data before we get started. I will go again, file upload, click on upload files, and this one. Loading it perfectly. Let's make a map from data source source should be here. Country vaccination is here. I think I forgot to click on add button. Let's see if it works and it does. Come on now, Google Data Studio. Yeah, so we need country. We'll click to drag and drop and drop. Hmm. So I want country by and I want to expand this column or widget this panel if to the vaccination. This is what I want to see. Like store by size. Again, very similar feel like Power Power BI. Uh, types number. But I, I do not want it. Why is it coming into ABC? I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a matrix, right? It's a number. So how should I change it? Tracking. Right, so we have total vaccination, which is not a text, is a number. This is also a number. So you might want to note this, but Data Studio was unable to find the difference between a dimension and a matrix or which one is the text which one is the number which one it should aggregate and which column name it should not aggregate so 
Let me try it again. What else do we need? Daily vaccination, yes. And probably I have to do the same for the rest of my data sources. Let's try again. I'm not sure some, but I want the average. Loading of data depends on your internet speed. Can I format this? Definitely this step in here. Right, a lot of options. <sighs> Where can I put numbers on the top? Can I put numbers on the top? It has tooltip here, it has color dimension here. Does have the labels? What else? A line chart. Let's build. Let's try date. Let daily vaccination. Good part that that line chart is pretty accurate in Data Studio as compared to Power BI and even as compared to Tableau. We can actually see that it is showing a clear trend. The heels are clearly visible in this chart. Just pretty good. It's pretty amazing what Data Studio has done here. Now well, let's see if it is clickable. I think I have to use cross interaction feature here. Here also cross filtration. Now let's see if it works. Oh, yes, it works. Can we compare to countries? So I think it will not compare, but it will add both of them. Mm. Okay, something different. Let's try one more.
Let's now jump to making a scatter plot. Quickly remove the filters. So creating a scatter plot from the hard database and see if it is making some beautiful scatter plot or not. Will Data Studio be able to make a better scatter plot than Tableau and Power BI or will it fail? So let's take H and put cholesterol with it. Ah, doesn't work like that. So we'll go to chart, scatter plot. With age, it has taken the sex, but we'll remove the sex and we will add cholesterol with age. Let that go through the edge. Right. A very different chart from, from what we have seen in both of them. Um, it's because it is aggregating them. And we do not want to aggregate values. I have to format this chart because I think the chart is not understanding what I'm trying to say. I want to remove this. Then I'm a unable to remove it. We delete it. And let's go to a chart. Okay. Build a scatter plot. And again. This is not cool. No, this is not cool. I should be playing with the data studio. Not data studio should be playing with me. Not funny data studio. So, who should I complain now about this fault? <sighs> K 
ಇಲ್ಲ ಸೆಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪಲ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೈಬಲ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿ Come on guys, I just want to remove this aggregation from here. Fucking way to do it. Right, so this was the comparison between the Data Studio, Power BI, and Tableau. Lastly, my closing would be, this is my opinion from my experience. And I would suggest that if you are an online marketer or an e-commerce or website analyst you would and if you have to choose one of the analyst tool to analyze data I would highly suggest to go and learn Google Data Studio the main reason behind that is these data connectors 90% of the websites they analyze websites using Google Analytics Google Ads um, campaign manager um, at 360 search console and these marketing tools which are available very easily in data studio however if you are into CRM like Salesforce CRM Microsoft Dynamics CRM or any other CRM or you are into data analysis want to become a data scientist or you are passionate about analyzing data i would highly suggest tableau because tableau uh, has beautiful dashboard dashboarding tools and it has really good analysis features which will help you to understand data pretty quickly it's fast it's deliverable and has very good features lastly if you are a business analyst business intelligence person or you just want to create dashboards and do reporting um, you want to increase your um, capabilities and want to understand uh, this dashboarding world i would highly suggest go for power bi power bi is very powerful it's very famous many companies are using power bi now and everybody knows about power bi it's pretty famous so this was the end of the video highly appreciate if you watched it thank you so much take care bye bye